Hello and thank you for looking in on this uh, video regarding the Zeal UFR uh, 1001E G593 compliant relay. This is the unit itself. It's a dinrail mounted unit. Uh, the clips on the back, of course. Um, you have the mains connection up here, which is from 20 to 270 volts AC DC. You have a digital outputs here for each of the values being monitored. Uh, that requires an external power supply if you want to use that and you have the relay outputs here to your mains and generator breaker you have inhibit and uh, input settings here for when you are synchronizing modes and the likes and then you have your voltage connections here your line one two three and neutral the unit itself is used for monitoring under and over voltage at both levels under and over frequency at both levels vector shift and rock off all of those values can be either turned off or turned on okay thank you Hello, this is the UFR 1001E Zeal G593 compliant relay. This mode you have it here set up in is in the monitoring mode as if it would be after it had been commissioned and installed. You can tell this because you have a red LED here which indicates under this padlock symbol that the unit is locked, which means you cannot alternate the values, but you can read the values, of course. If you come over here, if you press the down arrow key, you come to the first value in the list, which is over voltage second level. You press the right arrow, you can see that this is an active monitored value. You press the right arrow again, you can see the value is 476. If you now try to change this value by pressing the up or down key, it will come up with LOC, and at the same time, this LED here will flash. I'll show you again. Press the up key, LED flashes to indicate the system is locked out. If you continue over to the right, you can see the hysteresis. You have the delay, which is half a second, and then you have the delay off before the reset of 20 seconds. So you have the second level voltage, you have the first level of over voltage, you have the value of the voltage is monitored and recorded every 10 minutes by the unit so it gets the average quality of the voltage so you can see if you're getting spurious trips possibly what may be causing it. You also then have under voltage the first level, under voltage the second level and all of the values always have of course the on value indicating that unit is, is being monitored. If you don't want that value to be monitored, you can change that to off during the program mode. You then have the value itself, you then have the hysteresis, the delay, and then you have the delay off for the reset, and then back to the main menu again. And then you have the frequency, second level, frequency first level over, frequency first level under, frequency second level under. You then have the vector shift, you then have the rock off, you then have the relay for how the relays perform. You then have DDI, which does do with the way that the display updates, and, and it's a, a personal thing to set those values. You have SI, which is a simulation mode for voltage and frequency during self-test. Then you have the code. The code is for factory reset. If everything's gone drastically wrong, you have a code in the manual which you enter using that when this is unlocked, which will allow you to recover the factory defaults. Then have info. And you have the firmware version that's within the controller. You then have the serial number, which will scroll across. You then have the number of hours run that the unit has been used for. You then have the error message to indicate the latest error message. There's a few of them here, others in the manual. And then you have the program. The program's important. For this unit, you have predefined, as per the G593 standards, the values set and defined in the standards for three phase uh, four wire, three phase three wire, um, three phase uh, uh, VT 57.7 volts and three phase VT 100 volts and those are the values, time delays, everything as defined by the standards pre-configured in the unit. And you info again and then down and that's you back to the start of the menu. Next we'll look at how to program the unit. Alright we're now going to switch it from uh, the supervision mode to the lock mode and this is one that we're going to do this by rotating this piece of plastic here that's to the right of the LED. There is, it comes with this wire seal, plastic seal, sorry, from the factory. So you just take that out and you take it around and rotate it around and you will see that there is a pin there. That is the pin you have to press down on. So on the unit which is powered up, you undo the wire seal, you turn it around and then you push down and it flickers and you now have a green LED here. So to demonstrate your proof, you go down here We've got the voltage over. If you recollect earlier, you could go right, and there's on. Now I can select the up or down, and I can now turn that value off if I don't want it. 
So that bit's very important. This seal here, this has to be green to allow you to do this. And that's done by taking your wire seal off, rotating that round, locating the pin, pushing down for around five or six seconds, and then it should go into the program mode to allow you to make changes. Okay, now we have the unit in the analog mode. You've got the green LED here, and the uh, unit can now be programmed. The unit currently defined at what rating it's set at for which system. If you go into the info and go all the way to the right, you will find out which it is. In this case, it was program code 21. I'll not go so quick. 21. 21 is three phase without neutral, so 400 volt. So we don't want that. We want it to be three phase four wire, which is code 20. So 20, 21, 22, and 23 apply to G593 and G8832 in the UK. So if we change that, to 20 and then press the accept key here it asks us again to confirm that so go up to yes that going up to yes goes down is no so up to yes press accept again the unit will now power down it powers down every time you make an alteration um, such as as major as changing the code so now what you've got here is the unit is always has a 20 second delay so if you come in here and you come down and have a look at the voltage second level over voltage, go to the right, you can see the value is on, you can see it's set at 273 volts for a system which is uh, 240 volt settings. And here's your hysteresis, your delay, your delay before reset of the breaker, and then go down. Now if you need, because you've got a local transformer which has a slightly different voltage, you need to make modifications, you simply go in, select the value, and then using the up-down keys you can adjust, so say to 275, and then over you go and you'll find that it's accepted that setting and then you can move again check there's 275 we'll put it back to 273 and the same applies to all the values as you may notice the any one of the values can be on or off every time and we will come down and take a look at our friend rock off not everyone requires rock off so you can turn the rock off off so you don't have to worry about having nuisance trips because you've just wound the rock off up out of the way. So then if you go and look there, you can see now this rock off value is off. But if you want it on, you simply put it on again. Accept, and there's the rock off value back. All done without the use of a PC. So no need to worry about running out of battery, or etc. in a remote location. And that's your value. Now once you've done your programming, you can reset it. You have to press on the button again. And you will get it'll go back to reset thanks very much